Zoned, two zoned in, and you're kind of just forgetting about the McCree ult. So, here I have a really good opportunity, and I get three, which is really good. So, we just want to kill as many people as possible here. Some nice shots there, finally. Hey guys, so in this video, I'm going to be doing another VOD review, this time for DPS, for Cassidy or McCree, as many of you guys probably still know him as. And this is going to be on a new map, which is very nice. It's called New Queen Street. This is also the new game mode in which you push a robot. A robot pushes a barricade for you. We'll be talking a little bit about that in this game mode because, again, this game is still relatively new. A lot of you are probably still not super familiar with how this game mode works. So let's go ahead and jump right into the VOD review. So you see, I say hello. I always say hello at the start of my games because I want to kind of... I want comms for my teammates, right? That's not always going to happen. I promise it's not always going to happen. I know that from experience, sadly. But it's always good to try... Uh, if you're in the state of mind to do so. Hello. Yeah. Hello, hello. Yo. Win. So there you're gonna, you see I, I say hi to them. Um, after they join the voice chat. So, just so we, we know that we're all we'll having comms, make them more likely to speak. Here we see they have Arissa May Tracer straight away. I didn't expect them to dive on me that hard like that, but... Another thing here, I didn't really get healed, to be honest with you, for a good amount. It seems like Armora died here, so that's probably why here. Um, I also I also don't, I kind of miss a lot, which is completely fine, but I just want you guys to realize that when you miss, it's okay. You can still come back from the game, and you can still do well. So we're actually up a lot here, now we're only up one, but we're still going to be able to push here. Okay, okay. So I'm low at this point. Just get heals. Here I get healed, and now we're basically ready to go for another fight. Uh, on this map, I again, I'm not a big fan of this map, but I like to come up through this little doorway. This map's- every robot map is symmetric, because it kind of needs to be in order to be fair. Otherwise, it would just be kind of, you know, unfair. You have to push it a further distance. Um, so here I look for a kill. If my aim was better here, I could have easily killed this Zen. This pick is pretty- completely fine to go for. Um, as a DPS player, just make sure you don't overextend too hard. Like, if you're here whenever your team's, like, dying, obviously that's kind of a problem. Right here. Could have very easily killed that Zen. Just, just whiffing. It's completely fine, though. Alright. See, I throw my, my new flashbang, or whatever you're gonna call this, a little grenade, onto my, onto the May, And you're gonna notice, May, Reaper, Tracer, other agents like this, your, your grenade's kind of useless against, because they can just go and cryo, they can recall, they can go and wraith form, and it's all it's all just going to negate your grenade. So you're going to notice that a lot throughout this game. So I was probably better off throwing my nade at someone else, maybe maybe even Arissa at this point, to be honest. But it does, it does force her cryo out, which is also good. Here, we're down one, so I'm just I'm looking to back up. Unfortunately, I die there. I feel like that's kind of a lucky shot from her, but... Uh, so at this point, this is, this is the point where you really want to get your team to kind of be backing up. It looks like we're probably going to be dying here a little bit. Just given how close they are to us. But if your team is starting to lose in this game mode, you want to try to back up to regroup as quickly as you possibly can so that you can minimize the amount of time between the fight that you've lost and the fight that you can take next, right? So these guys are... They might get out, actually. Looks like it, yeah. They might die, but... Looks like they might get out. Still have high noon. I say I almost have high noon. Our Lucio dies, staggers, so again... He's, the fact that he dies means you have to wait another additional like five seconds to get a full team fight 5v5 right Here we lose another person. These are both of our heals this is really bad. It's quite annoying So it's gonna be another again five or ten seconds before we can have a full team fight especially without our main heal, which is Moira It's a pretty good high noon right here You see I have a chance to go for two But I choose to just kill the Ana because the Ana is ex an extremely high value target if we don't kill her with my ult, there's a good chance that we might actually just not kill her as a team, which would obviously be much worse than just killing her. So you're going to notice this throughout this game. I'll consistently go for just one one man or one kill during my ults, which I would suggest you guys to do as well. If you can go for more, then do it, but don't be too greedy about it. Here, I'm kind of aggressive. We do end up kind of just getting the kill here, though. Okay, my aim slowly warms up throughout this game. And this is kind of um, a testament to show you guys that you really... I hear, actually hear the Zen, and then it turns out that the Mei and the Zen are up top, right? So what should we do at this point? We really want to communicate to our team, Mei and Zen, Mei and Zen, Mei and Zen, right? <clears throat> Try to get your team to kill these two, because again, if we kill these two people, it's going to allow us to push for another 5 to 10 seconds, because the enemy team is respawning like right now, but these two did not get out safely in time. 
So right now they're sandwiched between me and my team, and they're nowhere near where their teammates are respawning. So we have plenty of time to really kill them. If we if we calm it, right? If we tell them. There's an enemy above, there's an enemy above. What you see that I do. And we ping we it. Them? We kill them? Me, me, me. I kind of trust my team there. And here again, I'm not getting healed and I walk forward and just die. Kind of my fault, also lack of heals a little bit. Here we're dying again. This is the situation where you really want to get your teammates to come back. See, I'm going forward aggressively when I shouldn't be playing super aggressive. I could have got a kill there, but not really worth. Here I could also kill Zen. But still not super worth. Just given how my team's dead right now, right? Like, if I get a kill, I'm not gonna be able to do much more than that. Um, so yeah. So here, this is actually good fighting here. This where I was fighting from here is completely fine. It's just too far forward there. You don't want to, because now my team's coming back, right? Um, so yeah. So our Echo is ulting into the Arisa. Here, the Zen ults, but he doesn't get there in time, so we just kill everyone. Here you see I go for another McCreel, and it's completely fine here. I just go for the Tracer. Might have been able to get two, but not really worth waiting. Fortunately, Sorry, I die. Another thing about this uh, game mode, the robot, you only ever need one person on it. Always, ever, right? Like So like here you see one. The robot's running really fast. Even if the robot's on the barricade, you only ever need one to reach maximum speed. Um, so this is some very valuable information that someone in my game or I'm sure a lot of you guys also aren't aware of this Just you don't need three. It's not like the it's not like the payload, right? The payload you can have either one two or three people on it And those are all different speeds three being the fastest speed obviously and then one would just be like slightly slower speed uh, But this robot is always gonna go at the same speed no matter no matter who's on it or no matter how many people you have on it these grab these trans we have so what that means, you have a dedicated robot pusher, and then the other teammates on your team just kind of push up. Yeah, we just beat offensively and go. Okay, Lucio? So, this guy said we beat offensively. I wasn't really keen on that idea, but I killed a tracer here, and it, it works out. I, I like to save beat, usually. Again, I throw my grenade, and then she just cryo freezes. On in the back, on in the back. So, I call Ursa, and then I see on in the back, so I'm gonna kill Ana. And then we just kill them both, which is good. And now we're pushing the cart, we're taking the lead. And also, once we hit this little objective here, what this means is that your team is going to get a forward spawn. Now, the spawn is not super, super far forward, but it is definitely a bit farther forward, which is going to be, it's going to make it easier for your guys to regroup quicker. And this forward spawn will last until the enemy team pushes the barricade or pushes the robot back past the middle point. So if they come up to here and hit this point, then they get a forward spawn. And if you come to this point, you get a forward spawn. So that's another feature of this game mode. Still expects me. Fortunately, I get some nice shots, behind, finally. All right. Need a heal. Uh, that's gonna be Lucio, I can't. Or again, so she cannot heal me. So here, actually, we get a couple here. So this is very winnable. Okay, so there you see, I, so I kill the tracer. And now again, I don't want to go too aggressive here, right? You want to kind of just play slightly in front of the payload if, or the the robot after you kind of wipe them out. Here, okay, here, right. Could I kill this guy? Yes. Is am I overextended? Absolutely. Okay, I should not be playing this aggressive. So, you know, if you have the tendency to do this, then try not to do this. This is something I could absolutely work on in my own gameplay. I've had this problem in other games like Valorant, right, where I just push forward and then it kind of gets me punished. Fortunately. Yeah. I do kill him, but I also die. So it is okay, right? Because we do. I do have a fourth one. Is it really worth it? Not really, because the Zen's gonna spawn closer. This is where I believe my aim starts kind of picking up a little bit. Again, this is probably about as far as I'd push up. The cool thing about this map, I guess, anyway, is like there's this ramp. So if they start to kill you here, you can always just kind of back up down the ramp, and you're kind of safe. Your team can kind of heal you. Just kind of getting up over this ramp and pushing forward past this ramp if you're alone is really risky. Like you saw me do earlier. Here, we're going to need some momentum. I'm going to need to get a kill here if you really want to win the game straight straight out here. Uh, another little thing with, with uh, Cassidy's grenade. You see, I throw it, but if, if it's... 
if you, an enemy is not in range of the grenade, it won't stick to them. What, what's going to happen is it'll just explode, but it'll do a fraction of the damage. So whenever you throw the grenade, make sure you can actually stick someone, okay? Because if you throw it and it, it, there's nobody in range, it'll just explode. You can even throw it and stick it to the wall or something, and it'll still do a lot of damage. But make sure you don't throw it and miss, basically. Because there you see it's going to explode. It doesn't do a lot of damage. May on your floor. Point, point, babe. But here we have a lot of momentum. Yeah, here I see Maze in a really bad spot. She's cryoed really far forward. Um, and it's really bad may, for her. May, 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 may. So I really try to get our team to, to focus on the May here because it's just a, it's just a simply a free kill. There's nothing they can do to save her at this point. Uh, Alright, high noon. I get one. I get a really valuable target. Again, is the high noon worth it? At this point, honestly, yes, it is. Because why? Because we if we kill them quicker, we get a lot of momentum. And the more people we like kill in succession, the longer it's gonna take for them to kind of respawn and group, right? So we just want to kill as many people as possible here. Some nice shots there, finally. But here, I, I made a mistake here again. I'm too far forward. I think just a big problem for me is just playing too far forward as DPS. You don't need to play this far forward in order to be effective on DPS. If you watch players like Defran on hit scan, you'll see that they sit quite far back and they kind of just hold, right? Like you don't really need to be here unless you're like a Sombra or a Tracer or something, or unless you're like Genji with ult. And the, the, the mistake that I made here, here, this is okay, but the problem is they have trance, and so I just kind of get punished for this. Yeah, had he not had trance there, this might have actually been okay, but you see, I kind of just die, and it's really not worth it. Yeah, that was a troll, I didn't realize I had trance. Too far. Bro, they even to get a touch their barricade, even. Here, I want to look for something. This is kind of risky again, but I get this guy. One, one. Grab was not necessary here. We already had killed two and she grabbed. Again, just some simple comms from our Zarya from our team would have been very nice for this. This is where my aim starts kind of picking up just a little bit. We have, yeah, we have MP to one here easily. Right here, I want to play right here. This, yeah, this spot's pretty good. If you can just chill here and not play too aggressive. Yeah, just like so if I can get high noon here, this is gonna be pretty good. Unless it's like a guaranteed fight win. This is a guaranteed. So here I'm looking for a high noon. I'm kind of worried about just getting absolutely obliterated. There's also always a risk of getting walled off or slept or killed by this nano Zarya. But I think this is still a relatively good opportunity to go for just one to kill here. Okay, so actually, I would have killed the Zarya there, but I think the May actually just completely blocked me out there. Fortunately, I do live somehow. Zarya, 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 Zarya. Definitely a risky ult. Like I... Okay, that's a nice shot on me as well. So here it's kind of annoying because they can just come out and touch with the, especially with the May, they can just touch and stall it out, which is gonna buy them a lot of time. Fortunately, I do kill one here. Can't hit my shots on the tracer. So I can't, bro. I've killed her so many times. So obviously, I'm getting a little bit frustrated at this point. I it honestly doesn't feel like I'm doing as good as I am. I'm seeing how many shots I've just simply missed. But I do actually have the most elims in the game. I have the most damage in the game by a good amount, and I'm playing. I'm playing pretty good. Um, I, I could play. I could be playing a lot better though. Probably regroup at this point. It's May. May back. Yeah. So at this point, they're gonna stall out. Just back up. Back up. We need. Regroup. Like we don't need to. We don't. The thing about this game mode is you don't need to push it all the way to the end to win. Like you could literally be at zero meters the whole game. And in the last, in overtime, you could you could push it all the way and win. So here, all we need to do is just win one fight and get them off the cart. So all we want to do is back up, not die, and regroup, and just win, take a fight together. One fight. Please. Here. Yeah, I have high noon. Please stop dying. 
Again, a big problem that I have after watching this is really that I just play too aggressive. Like, I should play more around my teammates, around my supports, and I shouldn't be taking as many aggressive fights, especially when I just simply don't need to. So this is very eye-opening for me, and this should be potentially eye-opening for you as well. And I'm looking for a high noon here. I think this high noon could be strong. I'm thinking, where should I high noon from, though? Here, I think it's I think it's okay to look for a kill here, but I don't think that I should be walking down these stairs that like I have been, right? Like, see if you just if they give you a kill. That was a bit of a ambitious. So here. Yeah, I don't think that's worth. I think we just high noon from somewhere. Yeah, this is good. This is really good, right? This is a strong high noon because they're the robots pushing around the corner, and they're just coming right into me. And they even beat here. So they probably heard the high noon, but they're just like really focused on killing people. At this point, you have to imagine like from their, from their side, they're probably really nervous about like, oh, you know, we gotta, we gotta win here. We gotta win. This is our last chance. Like they're probably getting nervous. So they're probably really kind of zoned out, zoned, too zoned in. And they're kind of just forgetting about the McCree ult. So here I have a really good opportunity and I get three, which is really good. And then again, Cryo is really annoying. I probably could have had like a 5k here, but they they wall off and my teammate just kills them. So, that's a GG. And as you can see, I have quite a lot of damage, a good amount of elims, and an okay amount of deaths. So I think, again, I get a big takeaway from this VOD, guys, for me and for hopefully you guys as well, is seeing how aggressive I play. And also seeing how I'm actually missing quite a lot of shots, but that's not really the end of the world for most games, right? Like you can miss your shots. You see, I only have a 47% weapon accuracy, which is, it's okay. It's just not really great. Over a 50 would be better. Um, but, you know, understand other than that for me, really going too aggressive. I did that countless times in this VOD. I probably did that over five times. That actually got me killed as well. You think I would have probably learned after the, the first time? I think it's because I want to I wanna carry, and I know that I can carry, but pushing aggressive like that is really not the way to do it. So hopefully that makes sense. Uh, let me know if you guys have any questions about this VOD review, and let me know what, what heroes you guys like to see in the next one. Peace, guys.